Today we will see how to do a webinar project simulation using Sidon's ISO software. The first step is take file in a new project. We are starting a new project. New project. You can go give any location for it. You can specify the location here. Okay. Mine is it's created in um, on the desktop itself in the webinar project. And here I'm going to make a new folder. Inside the blog project, you can make a new folder, and that's all. Within that, you can give the name of your project. The name of my project is Beach Demo. Any name you can give. Okay. The type is HDM. Already by default, given as HDM. Take notes. After that, you see the specifications here. Among these specifications, if the FPJ chip, the chip that they use in FPJ or the CPMD chip that they are using is known for you, you can fill out these specifications. For now, I'm going to show simulation alone, so I'll go directly to the simulator. The synthesis tool is XST itself, and the simulator is ISC simulator, ESDL slash variable. I'm using the inbuilt simulator, I'm not using a separate simulator. Okay, click next and give new source. Okay. In new source, you click Verilog module. For Verilog module, I'm going to do the coding for an hour boots. I'm going to code an hour boots. So I have given the name as R underscore eight after clicking on Verilog module. Next. In orbit, I'm doing a two bit or orbit. So two input orbit. So the inputs are A and B. You can give any name. And the output is C. By default, the direction is already input here for A and B. For C, it is input, but I have to make it as output because C is the output of my orbit. Both of, of A and B are one bit inputs, and C is also a one bit output. Therefore, I don't need to click on bus. If I click on bus, what will happen is I will be asked how many bits input A is. Then, if I give two here, it will become a three bit input. Two as in zero at position, one at position, and second two at position so it will become 3 bits. So in our case we need only 1 bit for demo purpose and therefore I have unclicked that. Next, this is the summary. This is the project that we have created, the source that we have created. If you want to add, add any module into this, you can give add source. For now we are starting with a very basic project, we don't have any other source to add. Therefore I am going to skip this step. Next. And this is the summary of whatever options you have given. Okay. Right. Finish. Now what you see here is the design summary has popped up on the bottom tab. The group that you have created or the module that you have created is present or underscore group. Click on that. You can see that. Or when this comes up, you just double click on or gate as it is mentioned here. Double click here. I get my file. Now the file has come with a perfect syntax of beginning and ending syntax that is now it starts with a module and it starts with the name or gate which you have given the name. The inputs are A comma B and the output is C. All are listed out neatly as it should be. The inputs are separately declared as input A, input B and output is separately declared as output C. Before the end module after the module, input outputs are declared and before the end module, you can give your code. Okay. So, I have typed here, I sign, assign, C is equal to A or B. This is the symbol for OR. If you are programming this uh, or coding this for an industry or for a major project, all these templates might be required. I am going to delete this for simplicity. The time scale is mentioned here at 1 millisecond for microsecond and again we don't we are not needing this any time scale here so I will not add for that now. Okay. Now the next thing we need to know is whether our project has been our module design module has been uh, coded properly. So click on your orbit once, then come down here you see the synthesize option, expand that into an option for check syntax. Double click on check syntax. Yes.
For example, if I tell you which is checking the syntax of your deadlock module, whether the semicolons everything is correctly placed, yes, the green tick has come, which means that it is all correctly done. Next thing we have to do is we have to write the test page. That means we have to give the inputs to A and B and observe the output of C. When you want to do the test page, you click on your design module, right click, right click, take new source and give deadlock text page. This will give you automatically give you the syntax for test page. So I'm going to call it as or underscore gate underscore tv. Okay, click on next, next, and finish. That's it. So since I right clicked on or gate, the test page will directly be associated with the or gate itself. Once again, I'm going to delete all my comments which are which will come in the way of understanding my code. Here you see that there is an initial here and a begin here. Beneath this, we will give our inputs. Our inputs are, so you see what I have typed here is a is equal to 0, b equal to 0, which is the first input in the table of the R gate. And you wait for 100 units of time in order to observe the output. Again, change the inputs, make it a equal to 0, b equal to 1, and wait for 100 units. Next is a equal to 1, b equal to 0. And after waiting, last input is a equal to 1, b equal to 1. The final uh, one input is a equal to 0, b equal to 0. This is actually a repetition of the first one. The reason I have given this is because uh, in this inbuilt tool, we might not be able to see clearly the last output case. The beginning of, at the beginning of the output, last output case itself, the waveform gets truncated. Therefore, I'm going to give one more output case so that I can see the last one fully. Now let us see if the take uh, in order to simulate this test bench, what I have to do is go to behavioral simulation. Behavioral means the functionality. We are going to check if the functionality is correct or not. If it is working as it should work, we have not stepped into the hardware yet. We are doing only the simulation. So yes, this is the test bench. We have already typed in the test bench. We have already saved it. Click on save. Now click on the test bench name. See, it comes here as selected and then check syntax to see if the test bench has been correctly coded. Yes, it is correctly coded. Once again, keeping the selection and the test bench name, double click on simulate behavioral model or you can right click and press run. We will see the output here in waveform form in the format of waveform. See here, 0 to 100, the first 100 units, the input was. A, let me pull this down. Yes, the inputs are A and B. Look at the values of A and B. When the waveform is at the lower level, it is 0 logic. When it is at the upper level, it is logic 1. So here you see the value of A and B are 0, and the output is also 0. This is in compliance with the truth table of the board gate, so that is verified. Let us move the marker to the next position. Look at the inputs A0, B1. And the output is supposed to be 1 in case of form gate. This is also in compliance with the truth table. Confirm, verify, move the marker, click on the marker and drag. It will become 1. So A is the input 1, B is the input 0, and output C is expected to be 1. Yes, the observed output is also 1, which is correct. Finally, move the marker to the last input A equal to 1, B equal to 1, and the expected output is 1. Yes, C is equal to 1. And the last input that you gave was a equal to 0, b equal to 0, which was a repetition, and it has come out as correct. correct. So we have verified the truth table of OR gate. That means that the design that we have given for OR gate is working properly in compliance with the truth table. So these are the steps that are required to simulate the program in Silent Silence. Uh, you can try out any small program and see if it works. Okay. Thank you. Bye.